What is up guys, Onye here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to shoot remotely with the G7X. Look, if you have this camera and you have not been doing this, what is going on? This video is going to change your life for the better. Don't take my word for it though, let's just hop right into it. If you don't know what it means to shoot remotely, it pretty much means that you're using another device to operate your camera. In this case, I'm gonna be showing you how to use your phone to manually operate your camera. For example, if I wanted to take a photo of myself, I do that quite a bit, as you guys know. I can set my camera up on a tripod and use my phone to you know, change a few settings, not a lot, but a few settings and actually trigger my camera to take the picture. Yes, and not just that, you can actually transfer those photos from your camera to your phone so you can put on the gram like that. Yes. All right, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, here we go. So here we have the Canon G7X. The first thing you want to do is hit that play button at the bottom of the camera. That's gonna turn it on without extending the lens and causing potential damage. Then hit menu. Then we're gonna scroll over to number four. So number four, here we're going to go to wireless settings. And I think the most important thing here to change is the resize for sending. We don't wanna resize these images. So you can go there and make sure you hit no. We don't want it, right? So some other things you can change. You can change the nickname for your camera. I left mine as a default. And you can also reset your settings from here. All right, now that that's all squared away, let's flip this bad boy on its side. And there is a Wi-Fi button hidden right there. Go ahead and select that and drop it down like it's hot. Now here you're able to select where you want to upload your images. You can do your camera, computer, but we're gonna do an iPhone. Boom, boom, bam. Now I've already added my iPhone, that's why you see it there, but we're gonna go through the process just so you know. So you select add a device and this is what your camera will show you. You're gonna essentially be logging into your camera's Wi-Fi. Yeah, so let me grab my phone. Okay, once your phone is, where is my phone? Okay, so once your phone is open, go to Wi-Fi and you're going to look for that SSID, right? So where is it on the list? And there you are. So select that and then you're gonna type in that password that's on your camera. All right, I trust that your eyes are closed right now. No peeking. Okay, so once you're logged into your Wi-Fi, you're going to download and open an app called Canon Camera Connect. This is pretty much what allows you to view your photos and access your camera remotely. It may take a few seconds for this app to react because it's kind of slow, but as you can see, it recognizes your camera. You can select that. And it's gonna tell you that you're gonna be using your camera to access images on the memory card. Is that what it's saying? I think so. Okay, so now we're officially connected. First thing I'm gonna do is look at the images on my camera. So it will show you everything that you have stored in the camera. You can scroll through them. You can select an image. Come on, girl, you done scrolling. All right, you can select an image and it'll pop up. Again, it takes a few seconds sometimes to load. There she is. Hey, boo. You can scroll through these images from left to right, scroll, 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 get out of here. And you can also view these images in different formats. So there's four different ways here. You can select whichever viewing option floats your boat, okay? So once you've done that and you selected one, you can also select your image and import it or download it to your phone. And that takes a few seconds and boom, bam, it's there. All right, now on to the good stuff, remote shooting. When you select that option, it's gonna warn you, disclaimer, make sure you pick up your camera because the lens will project, all right? Y'all don't come ask me for no money if you don't pick up your camera first. 
Well, would you look at that? We are all set up to start shooting remotely. Now, what I want to show you is some of the cool things you can do when you're remotely shooting from your phone. The first thing is that you can zoom. Let's hit that zoom. Get on up in there. Now, if you're not using a G7X for this, then your ability to zoom in depends on the lens you're using. If you're using a prime lens like the 50 millimeter, then you're not zooming in anywhere. Sorry. But what you can do is you can touch your phone screen to set your focus point. So as you can see where I touch that little rectangle, rectangle? Rectangle for focus follows me around. Another thing you can do is you can shoot multiple photos at a time. I think it's called burst. And you can also set a timer, 10 seconds in, two seconds. And if you're filming like a fashion haul and your camera was set on its side, you can rotate it so that you're not, you know, breaking your neck to view it. Now, in terms of like changing the settings on your camera, you can't do too much. Let me just keep it all the way real with y'all. You can't, but you can change the ISO which I think is pretty important, especially if you're shooting in a low light setting. Now that setting right next to ISO to the left, I don't know what it's called, but that one helps you um, brighten or darken your photo. Lastly, but definitely not least, if you want to use your flash from your phone, which I highly do not recommend, flip that camera on its side once again, flip that switch down, pop that thing up, and then you'll see that you now have the option on your phone to activate that flash. And when it comes time to take your photo, all you have to do is hit that white circle right there in the middle, boom, activate your camera, boom, photo taken, loading, there you got it. You can hit the smaller size photo in the lower left-hand corner to view the photo and you're done. That's it, job well done guys. But wait, one thing I forgot to mention is that you cannot record video remotely on the G7X. Womp womp, I know. But at least for photos, this is a great tool to have. And that's it, folks. Look, I'm telling you, if you're someone that takes pictures of yourself, start doing this. It just makes the job so much easier. <laughs> All right, as always, if you did like this video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you do not miss a thing. And until next time, toodles.